sitting in front of the freshly poured weir. We poured this this morning. It has about half a cubic meter of concrete in it. And right now I'm standing in the formwork, which is holding it in shape. The uh, head race is right here. So the water will fill up where I'm standing, up and over the top of this weir. And some of the water will be taken down the pipe, which is right here, into the settling tank. Right now I'm standing on the downstream side of the weir. This right here is the head race. This runs from the weir into the settling tank, which is right over there. This concrete structure that I'm standing in is called the settling tank. So what happens is the water is stopped by the weir and flows into the tube called the head race which then flows into this tank. The sediment sinks to the bottom so that the water which flows down the penstock, which is the tube that leads to the turbine, is cleaner so that the turbine can last longer. As you can see, we have a few different gates in here. This is the uh, overflow gate right here. This is called a sediment gate, which we can open to uh, drain the whole tank and get some of the se sediment and dirt and whatever else ends up in here out of it. Right here is the uh, gate that leads down to the penstock. That's the uh, penstock gate. And that goes all the way down to our turbine. So these are the gabion walls. These are used to hold up the slope that the kiosk is going to be sitting on. They're made out of rebar and chain link and filled with large rocks. So hopefully that will hold up the slope and prevent erosion below our kiosk. Alright, so here you see water running through the lower tail race for the first time. So there's the flow from the one kilowatt turbine. It's uh, not very much right now, but it's in the testing phases. Then it's going down this tube. Down there, down this spillway, back into the river.